Hi, it's Marty Logan. I'm here in Scottsdale, Arizona, and this is the follow-up video to the first one we shot about a month ago. It's a story about how my mother received her first Moderna shot and dropped dead 24 hours later. So she got the COVID shot. I had dinner with her that night. She had no pain. She was fine. Talked to her again that evening. Uh, she's great. Um, Per the doctor who I talked to yesterday, uh, she talked to the staff that morning on February 17th. She had no complaints. Until they came back at lunch and found her face down, she died. She was dead. Medical examiner refused to do an autopsy. They wanted to write COVID. We refused. Thank God we paid to get a, an autopsy because I have the proof here today. What I'm going to show with you today, folks, is the facts. This is the science because the medical examiners did not want to do a, an autopsy, they want to write COVID on it. So we said, no. When we finally got the death certificate, it says on here, and I quote, adult failure to thrive, cardiac failure. Well, I have an autopsy right here in my hand that says there was no cardiac failure. It says there was no heart attack. There was no stroke. There was no aneurysm. Thank goodness we got an autopsy. There's a lot of it. I just heard from my patholo the, the pathologist today. There was another death this last week in a press kit where a man got the COVID shot, dropped dead the next day. Fortunately, maybe they didn't, couldn't afford an autopsy or they just, they wanted to put their head in the sand or they didn't know. I, I don't know, but here it is. We then sent the brain tissues out to a specialist or neural specialists. And, and folks, a lot of these words are above my pay grade, so bear with me. Here are the overview and the final autopsy results. And here they are in layman's terms as I quoted from the pathologist. And by the way, here are the medical records I have in my hand as well. She had a massive and rapid liver failure. I asked the doctor, the pathologist, what was it like in her, final, in her final moments when she went out? When she died, she had a shortness of breath, which felt like she was being choked and someone had their hand wrapped around her neck. Now folks, I'm just here to give you the facts. Information is knowledge. But if that's a risk for somebody, do you want your family members to go through that? Here is the VAERS report that the pathologist submitted to the Federal Drug Administration last week. The pathologist states that it was an adverse reaction to the vaccine the, that was the Moderna vaccine that she received. Talking to my mother's doctor yesterday. He stated that, look, that morning she was fine. She was fine through COVID. Her oxygen levels not, never got below where they needed to be at. She had some confusion, loss of appetite, but she made it through it. My mom tested negative for COVID on January 31st. She received the COVID vaccination on February 16th. Again, I had dinner with her that night. We had onion rings, we had a margarita, she was fine. She dropped dead the next day. So look, these are the facts. Knowledge is power. Make up your own mind.